three years ago for 8th edition, I made a video as an homage to You Suck at Cooking called You Suck at Painting. And it is one of the most popular videos that I have ever made. So, as an homage to 9th edition, let's go ahead and update our homage. Homage part two. You suck at painting. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Part two. It's 9th edition now, and you're new to Warhammer. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make it look like that you've been playing Warhammer forever. And the best way to do that is have a massive collection of unbuilt models. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a picture of all your unbuilt models and then post it to Facebook and brag about how many points you have that you've never painted. 10,000 power level. Next, you're gonna to need to pick an army to start with, and I'm starting with Gene Stealer Cult, specifically Acolyte Hybrids. So you're not picking Necrons? <laughs> no. Do Gene Stealers have a new book coming out? Nuh uh. Are they expected to be part of the new top tier meta? No. So why are you picking Gene Stealer? Uh, next, you need a workspace to work on. I'm gonna be using the Indominus box set. That's right, the very same box set that we are giving away for once we reach 8,000 subscribers is gonna be our work surface. Now we're gonna take a look at the front and the back of the box, and we are gonna remember that thing I said back at the beginning of the original video. While looking at the back, tell yourself, my miniatures are not going to look like this. Not today, just accept it. Now we need to open the box, and this ain't no fifth edition Space Marine box with all mono poses. We have to be very careful not to ruin the instructions when we open this box. So ready? Crap. I cut the instructions in half. We can fix this. The first step for building your models is to cut them out of the sprue using a pair of flat back pliers. You are going to use the flat side against your model and clip it. Now if you are new to Warhammer, the best way to practice using your flat back pliers is of course to trim your fingernails. This is going to do two great things for you. One, you are going to shoot little tiny pieces of nail all around your studio where you will never find them again. And two, learning how to cut something on a curve using something that's flat is the best best training you could ever have. I of course don't have time for this, so I'm going to be using magic by first creating a magic power circle. Then I'm going to place my sprues in the middle of them. And behold! Oh, wait, it fully assembled it. You are going to also need glue. Of course this ain't no 8th edition, we are in 9th edition and that means we are in the age of contrast paint, so forget about that old stuff, we are going to be using wraith bone contrast undercoat. Remember to spray outside, but don't go outside and then back inside like I did last time. And spray, 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 spray. Hey newbies, it's time to paint. You're gonna need a painting tray and of course your model. Now I only have to paint one, but you gotta paint like 50, so congrats. The great thing about contrast paint is if in the fall and you have a ginkgo tree, you can find the very rare wild contrast paint. Paints, we're gonna try to keep this simple because we're all new. Aethermatic blue, skeleton horde, snake bite leather. Martian iron crust. The model black, iron breaker. And lead belcher. See, nice and simple for all of you new painters out there. Supplies, cup of water, brush, Paper towel, Q-tips. Step one, paint the flesh, aethermatic blue. Step two, paint the clothes, skeleton hoard. If necessary, dab extra with Q-tip. Step three, highlight the clothes with the Garros Dunes. Contrast paint is so magical that sometimes if you're doing a really good job, as soon as you open a new bottle, the rest of your army will just magically appear painted. The other great thing about contrast is no matter what brush you use, it gives you that sick base. I got this new edition, been learning through nutrition. I should be out of fishing. COVID got me finishing. I never thin my paint, my brush stroke so smooth like a saint. Your layer paint is quaint, so I use it with restraint. So let's bust out some contrast, we'll get it done fast. Then we'll put them on the table and we'll see who is the true whale. 
Cause lower is such a bore Don't worry about my score I'll leave your army in a pile on the floor In its gore Whew. Okay Now we gotta wash our metal with Nuln Oil We're also gonna hit the red And we're not gonna be too worried if it spreads out a little bit Cause it's just gonna give us some nice shading Last step Martian Iron Crust for the base For this step Lay the bottle on the side Place a box over it Ta-da! We still have to do it ourselves. To scoop some out on a butter knife and then we're just gonna smear it all around. We're not gonna worry about if it gets on the toes or the feet because they are walking through the mud. It's just gonna add to the story of our model. Once we're done, I can just take the butter knife and scoop it right back into the bottle. Easy peasy squeezy. Click. Last step is to paint the rim of the base black. Josh likes to do this with an airbrush, so he gets some really pretty overspray. He's probably right, but I like just using a regular brush. Once I've gone all the way around once, I will let it dry. If it looks like it needs a second coat afterwards, I will add a second coat, but most times it is perfect on the first try. And boom, we're done. And there you have it. You now have your very own ninth edition army painted almost entirely with contrast paints as you should be doing because that's the best way to get into the hobby. If you don't know who you suck at cooking is, then you might suck at the internet. Check him out. He is one of my most favorite YouTubers as well as celebrity chefs. Obviously, I modeled this episode and the previous one off his videos. So thank you to him for being an inspiration to me. Music was edited by Giorgio Vanni on Fiverr. He edited the rap song as well as mastered the entire episode and he also did that for the previous one he is a high class person and you should check him out on fiverr if you need any audio editing of your own Thank you everybody who has supported our channel over the years and for all of our new supporters. It is fun to keep watching this channel grow and it's fun to make content like this for you all. If you like this, go ahead and give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. And as always, we'll see you on the table. I got this new edition, been learning through nutrition. I should be out of fishing. COVID got me finishing. I never thin my paint. My brush stroke is so smooth like a saint. Your layer paint is quaint, so I use it with restraint. So let's bust out some contrast. We'll get it done fast. Then we'll put them on the table and we'll see who is the true whale. Cause lore is such a bore. Don't worry about my score. I'll leave your army in a pile on the floor in its gore. Whew. Okay.